we just don't talk about business at all, period. But if it's something that urgent, then get it done before you leave business. As anybody and most people know that's, that's been in the vending business, the margins are incredibly thin, the capital is very uh, intensive, and the pay is very low. So it's not, uh, it's not the ideal business to go into. All through college, my dad tried to deter me uh, from the family business. Not necessarily to keep me from, I don't feel like to keep me from being part of the business, he wanted me to experience what the world had to offer, I guess. I tried to, to keep everybody else's thoughts and opinions out of it and do what I wanted to do. I felt obligated to the business. Knowing and seeing all the, the, uh, the time and labor that he put in through the years of the fact, uh, to, to, to the fact that nobody would be here to take and go with it at, when he decided to retire. But then on the other hand, you know, being, I guess, heir to the throne of that is, I've got to live with that one day too. Uh, I could have let him cut the strings at, at, and me go on my way, but now I've got to figure out how to cut the strings, whether to uh, pass it along to my kids uh, or make or break the business. When he first came in, he was in the service department and I had a, a manager over our vending and, and he worked for that manager, so I was not his boss. Uh, and uh, I allowed uh, him to report to the manager, so uh, therefore it was never an issue of, of the boss-son thing. Uh, at that time he was young enough that, and just coming into the business, that that being uh, heir to the throne, so to speak, uh, was, uh, was still uh, down the road, so that wasn't an issue. It's just kind of worked out that, that the more involved and the deeper it gets, the less I become involved, so it's just kind of been a, a gentle uh, balance throughout the, the 10 years that you've been associated here, so it's, it's, uh, it's worked quite well. Trying to differentiate the difference between boss and dad is, has always been tough because your first instinct is to uh, run to him and on, on, on the dad side of things. Uh, over the last 10 years, it's, it's gotten a lot easier to take and, and uh, as I've matured and uh, got to understand the business a lot more, it's been a lot easier to step back and make business decisions instead of uh, having to okay everything with dad. I've tried to keep the distance between me and him, the father-son thing, because uh, it, it don't look good business-wise, right. you know, with the employees, you know, everybody's always got that mentality, well, he'll just run to daddy, you know, he'll, he'll run to his dad, and I, I've done that intentionally to not have that employee uh, perception. When I come into the business, I started out uh, in the warehouse stacking boxes, sweeping floors, and then moved to the service department, and then from the service department. Uh, to running routes and then from running routes to the commissary so I feel like I've earned my keep you know and I, there's not there's very little about the business that I don't know or have a good knowledge of so um, I've earned a lot of respect and, or I hope I've earned a lot of respect in those assets uh, aspects too I never had a lot of pressure from anyone on anything growing up he's always allowed us to make our own decisions and learn right from wrong and uh, you know, put his two cents in when he felt like it was needed, but it, I didn't have him over my shoulder steering me every, every move we made. So letting him, letting him down wasn't a fear. Uh, it's to know to just keep going, you know, if we did, if we did fail, so. If I had to give any advice to uh, second generation uh, guys that are out there considering it or possibly already in the vending business, no matter what kind of degree you may have, college degree, or what your ambitions are, if you're going to be part of the business, you've got to start at the bottom and work your way up. Uh, because it, it don't matter what your 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 father or your uh, your mom or whoever is, is running the company may say or do, uh, if you don't have the respect of your employees, 
and the people that are working for you. Um, you it don't matter what type of business you have, you won't succeed. Um, and I, it took me a long time to understand that. Uh, why did I have a, a four-year college degree in business and a, a two-year degree in uh, sociology and I'm sweeping floors and stacking boxes? It took me a long time to understand that, but now I wouldn't have it any other way. A man that knows how will always have a job, but a man that knows why will always be his boss. So if you teach them all the whys when you're teaching them how, uh, and that being the math that goes along with the running of business.